All damage is reduced. I don't necessarily think I need Charizard. It's slower than Gengar. And I have Infernape. You can Flare Blitz after this, so... I want to see something here. Let's click Overheat. <laughs> that guy was almost full HP, bro. Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Today is going to be the last time we're going to be playing this team. It's going to be the Pikachu Sun team, Ash Ketchum inspired. And the goal for today is to perform well with Venusaur so that he can make the thumbnail. Because I think he's the only one that didn't make the thumbnails in the previous videos. And Gliscor doesn't really matter because he's going <laughs> to he's gonna be used now, but I'm not always going to play Venusaur. So that's going to be the goal of today. Doing well with Venusaur. Hopefully we can pick up some kills so that he can make the thumbnail for us. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this team, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a Poke Paste plus team building for the... No, there's only a Poke Paste of this team. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to like this video as well. For, for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel. I'm on my way to 6,000 subscribers. Would be cool if we can hit that soon. And yeah, guys, uh, without further ado, let's uh, pause the video. I'm going to look for a battle and we'll be right back okay guys we found a battle nice meow behind there and yeah let's see can we do something with Venusaur? um hmm this one is a bit tough in the sun we can definitely do something with it but yeah empoleon corona a truck can kind of trip my my guy so that's gonna be tough I'm not sure how we are going to deal with this shit. Um, Charizard actually kind of smokes him, so... <laughs> so that is uh, quite interesting. I'm going to start it off with my Infernape here. Because he leads up with Superior. Does he even have a Fire Resist on the team? What is his Fire Resist? Like, what if I click Flare Blitz right here? Like, what are you going to do? Okay, goodbye. And if he goes Duck Trail for some reason, I can I can basically kill him too, but um Yeah, I will lose my guy. I will lose my guy, but this this is one of the guys that's faster than my Charizard. Because now Charizard is looking quite good. He actually goes full corona. Interesting. Is that a bold folk? I don't want to click it again because if you set up here, like what are you gonna do? <laughs> now I get to click it again, <laughs> and this is gonna be blaze boosted as well. I'm getting uh, a bit, bit, bit too much value here, man. If that doctor doesn't have sucker punch as well, that's gonna be crazy. It's, look at Pikachu now. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Look at Pikachu now. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> like, <laughs> there is no way, guys. There is no freaking way. Hold on. <laughs> There's no way he does this, bro. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <clears throat> So let's bring in the glass where I can still use Infernape. He might even click Roost there. Um, to let me die. Exactly. I'm just going to U-turn uh, just to figure out what this guy's going to do. Maybe he's going to go into his uh, Espion. <laughs> fearing the Stealth Rock. Probably Helmet. I can hit my Torkoal now. I wonder if Ductra even Ductra might even die to um, Ductra Torkoal. 
I think Ductra might even die, because I'm pretty sure Ductra doesn't kill me. But to Lava Plume in the sun, to Rapid Spin, that might be a kill, yeah. Decides to go Espion, which is fine by me. I get up to spin here. I'll go directly into Infernape. If he clicks, he decides to forfeit. <laughs> if he killed me, I go Charizard and I basically get a kill there. Um, that was uh, pretty hilarious. Like a stall guy giving up that, that soon. This guy has an Alakazam behind him. Hold up. Oh, there's no Alakazam here. Hold up. Venusaur is actually... This might be Venusaur's game. Like, there's a Gastrodon. There's this. Like, in the sun. Definitely be interesting. I'm gonna start it up with uh, with this guy, though, because I want to make sure that I get the orb activated. Not sure, what he's going to do? Um, he might just stealth rock into me, but I want to make sure I have the orb. Could have started with Venusaur, to be fair. <laughs> but he clicks Ice Beam. It's, it is what it is. I'm gonna U-turn here. I did a lot. Hold off. <laughs> Gonna go into Torkoal there. I hope he doesn't have Earth Power. He already revealed Earth, um, Ice Beam. I'm gonna go straight into Charizard and uh, claim a kill here. The skull damage is reduced. I don't necessarily think I need Charizard. It's slower than Gengar. And I have Infernape. You can Flare Blitz after this, so... I want to see something here. Let's click Overheat. <laughs> okay, I was almost full HP, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Gokum Kelder. Oh, it goes Gengar, okay. Um, well, we do have Orb activated on Gliscor. And I could technically maybe still use this guy against the Kunkel against the Kukel. Probably not though. Um but yeah, I don't have a Shadow Ball resist either. Let's see, turn six. Is it worth? Because if I let this die, then I get Venusaur in on the next turn. Well maybe it's focus ash on this actually. I'm gonna go into um, into Gliscor. Don't be icy wind, please. Dark pills, okay. Like, I'll I'll just U-turn because after that, then uh, Venusaur could eventually knock him out there. We're just gonna U-turn here. Maybe he's gonna Destiny Bond <laughs> with the Focus Sash, but I should be able to get off my thing as he goes High Dragon. Beautiful. Getting up that damage is what I'd like to see. And now I might as well get to get in this guy because the sun is still up. <laughs> and click that weather ball. That young weather ball. Because if he's scarfed, I got to find out right now. And otherwise he has to go Rotom, which I 2 with KO. Because the sun is going to be up for this turn. Okay, this is scarfed. Okay. That's interesting. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going for an ape. That's the information we needed there as well, because now I know my um, my Gliscor can pretty much wall him. So we are just going to U-turn. Because we know he's locked in, right? So I get in this guy. Could have technically gone into Gliscor as well. But now I can just kick a drain. I was thinking about weatherballing there, but I didn't think he would go into his Gengar like that. <laughs> That's kind of disrespectful. But I just wanted to be at full HP and he basically healing off his damage. But it's fine. I get in Gliscor.
if he's gone, I get to spam close combat as well. So I, I'm really, I'm really surprised that he went for, uh, for all that. Yeah, I'll click protect there. Might as well now. The shadow balls. And I'm just kidding. I'll just click her quick, actually. He's, he seems like he's not switching here, so I might as well. He does get a spit death drop, which sucks, because now I'm in threat of Hydreigon. But his, like I said, his, um, his thing is gone. Still have Torkoal alive as well. It's definitely... Which definitely might help. Goes into a Rotom, so I can protect on this turn. So maybe we can just set it up to win um, with... <laughs> maybe we can set it up to win. The you turning To win with Phenosaur. So that he can make a thumbnail. <laughs> um, okay, looking at this. It's gonna go Pikachu. If Pikachu lives, Hydro Pump. I don't know if it, I don't think it does, but <laughs> if it does, I could have full tackled. However, I should be able to just go straight into Venusaur, like his Hydreigon is really low, so I can just get off a Giga Drain without setting up. <clears throat> and he goes Conkelder, which is actually the one I needed to damage, so. I'll take this. I crit him there. I actually didn't want that crit because now I heal less off his mark punch. If he mark punches me here, that is. Because it would have been a 2 with KO regardless there. Oh well, he doesn't mark punch me there anyway. So I get rid of Conkeldar. Now Venusaur did put in the work, so I think he deserves to make the thumbnail. Like I said, Venusaur, really good matchup against him. Goes into Hydreigon, and Let's see, do I go? I can just go Gliscor anyway. Just need to get up the Sun, but I can U-turn, uh, probably. Oh, he has Draco. It doesn't knock me out though, so that's pretty cool. I will protect here. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he goes Gliscor. And I could technically still keep the guy. I don't need Torkoal anyway, so I'm I'm going Torkoal now. And then... And then we get Gliscor in. I basically don't want involved switching. I want to keep Rodom in so I can get him Venusaur for free. Just like that. Because now I'm gonna go Venusaur. And even if he Volt switches, I'm literally full HP, so. Get that off. Go into Venusaur. Don't have something like this chart, please. As he bumps me in the rain. Beautiful. And yeah, so uh gonna Giga. I'm not gonna set up just in case he has something like Thunder Wave. He already showed Whistle, so probably not, but uh let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's we're gonna let Venusaur clean up this game. Like he was really weak to Venusaur, like Gash or not. It was really funny that Gash on died there <laughs> Charizard. Just like that. Goes into Hydreigon, doesn't really matter. I can just kick a drain again. Chlorophyll, baby. And then Garchomp is left. And even if I don't kill the Garchomp and he kills me, I have Infernip in the back. And I even have Gliscor in the back. <laughs> so, um, looking good, looking good. This comes in, and we get to click this. And he dies, so. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting first two games. 
We're only 13 minutes in, so uh, I think we gotta keep going here. We gotta keep going. Oh. I'm gonna queue up, guys. And yeah, I don't really wanna face novice trainers, of course, but uh, sometimes it is what it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Like the first game could have been tough, but I don't know. I don't know why he let everything die to Infernape. Why he refused to go into Duck Trail. Maybe he was actually banned at Duck Trail, <laughs> and maybe it wasn't it wasn't Focus Ash, and he didn't want to die to Flare Blitz like that. But him Squiver dancing up because he knew I was Choice Scarf on Infernape. Like he knew I was Choice Scarf on Infernape because I outsped the Superior, <laughs> and he still uh, he still clicked Quiver Dance with Volk. And now we see this guy. This guy, this might be a bit tough, gotta say. Because I need to get up Sun, but he has Weezing, which can stop it, and he has Tyranitar, of course. So, not looking not looking too great there. So he doesn't have... I'm gonna start off with my Gliscor. He doesn't have a ground immunity, so I can Volt Switch around with Pikachu. But this is so rough, man. I don't know how to how we can break this. I think I need to Focus Blast. I need to Focus Blast on um, a Tyranitar coming, and I think that's the only way. But I get to protect here. Don't don't click Switch Sense turn one here, please. Gallade is definitely, definitely a trap. Looking to Skarm. So that it, it is what it is, man. I'm gonna go directly into... Well, actually, if he's Rocky Helmet. I think if he's Rocky Helmet, uh, then he's not Leftovers. Then, then he won't have Sturdy. So whenever I try to kill him, I can kill him. I'm going to this guy. But this is definitely a tough matchup, man. I wonder if I should click Toxic here on Tyranitar coming in. But I guess, I guess Rapid Spinning is a bit safer in this sense. I do have to keep in mind that Pikachu kind of smokes him too, so. Definitely gotta look for that. This is still Chip, and I did 4% to him with Rapid Spin, so that is pretty interesting. Is that offensive? That might be offensive. Rapid Spin did... How much? 4... Oh, that can be max HP as well, okay. And I go Gliscor. Don't go for the ice type move, man. Don't do it to me. Ooh, that did so much. Crits me, I see. And you turn there. Wait. Oh, he's naive, I see. Yeah, this is not looking good, guys. Get in my son. Literally, I have no switch. <laughs> okay, so Pikachu does do a lot of damage against him. Do we? Do we? Do, I guess. I guess we just dodge it in this sense. I'm gonna go with Venusaur. I need. I needed this, this thing on, so um, we don't dodge. Did he just crit me again? No, that, that's regular damage. Wow, that is regular damage. Growth thing here. Because even if I don't have chlorophyll, I should still be faster than this. And Weather Ball should pick up a kill here. So at least Venusaur is gone, because now close combat looks a bit better against him. 
I'm not sure if um, Gelder kills me with Mach Punch though. Well, you go this. Oh, this is this is fine. I'll damage you gladly, bro. Okay, this guy making plays, but look at how much damage this is doing. Like, I should heal back, right? And then I get to click Weather Ball. Because this is your close combat switch, like literally. Clicking weather ball, I'm a plus two. Like whatever you bring in, even Galade is gonna take a bunch. He just removed everything. He paved the way for my Infernape, which is quite funny. I did die here, unfortunately. I'm gonna go into Torkoal first in case he goes Galade. There's definitely a chance now. Still though, he gets so he has three heavy hitters right there. <laughs> okay, it goes this. And he copied my drought, which is decent, I guess. How should I go about this? Double into Pikachu here, switch into Pikachu. I think that might be it. On his Terminator. And then just nuke the Terminator with full tackle. Because Charizard kind of beats him. And if I remove this Flare Blitz goes insane as well. But I think we just full tackle here. Yeah, that's that's a lot of damage to right there. Really good. Earthquakes me there. Going into this. Okay, so if I close combat here, I basically kill whatever comes in. Then we go Torkoal on Conkeldor. Conkeldor is the one I'm afraid of, but I have Charizard, which I can use to Weather Ball. Because he has to suck here, something here. Like, ideally, I kill him with U turn, but if he goes into something like Conkeldor, I want to kill, kill it. So, um, and I should be able to kill Galade as well. Because it's his Sandstorm damage, right? This is on only resist as well. I'll click it again. Don't be Shadow Sneak, bro. <laughs> Not here, man. Oh, I didn't kill! I lost. Fuck. I think I lost. Nine. Oh, he... What? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he... Why did he click agility there, bro? That's crazy, man. Okay, so what if I close combat here? Close combat might not kill the Porygon though. Um. We got Torkoal. With the sun up, I'm pretty sure I kill Porygon. How do I go about this, guys? I, I can close combat here for a lot of damage, but he can drain punch a lot of HP back. I think we do. I think we go with this and keep uh, Infernape in the back. I can always switch through on Porygon too as well if I really need to do it. He 
Is it better to lava plume here? No Charizard will kill this guy. Grenade might also live in attack. Probably not Stone Edge though. I don't think it, it matters damaging Tyranitar. I'm gonna Stealth Rook here. Because, like I said, I don't think it, man it matters damaging Tyranitar. Like obviously I could have doubled, but he could have stayed in because his 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 guts just activated. So if he was close combat or something, that would have been insane. I'll go into this. And he misses. Yeah, I mean he he hit he hit nine thousand of those. So. <laughs> <laughs> So what if I U-turn here? U-turn should kill him. Yeah, okay. He wasn't choice banded, so... I don't know. Infernip is not really bulky. But he was, he was mixed as well. I would have still died if he was... If he was adamant. Oh, he was not adamant though, Charlie. I'm at... Actually, I could have lived Stone Edge. Yeah. It was a, it was a low, it, it was a roll. Mine with Sandstorm damage, but now I should be able to go into this guy. And then, yeah, Charizard clicking water, spamming Water Ball against him. So that looks pretty good. It's a Drought ability, and I might as well go with this because. I just need to win with Charizard anyway. And I think Torkoal does better into Conkeldar than Infernape. Oh, okay. Okay. Look like close from it there. Super effective against this. I don't lose any HP. The Torkoal is now actually faster than his Conkeldar as well. Like, I'm getting a kill here. No, actually, if he goes into Conkeldar, he doesn't. Having Trick Room right there, a bit strange. <laughs> but I should still be able to get up a close combat as Oregon should not be able to kill me. Then, uh, Tor then Torko outspeeding Conkeldar. With Lava Plume and I have Char Full HP Charizard in the back. Like he used Trick Room, so there are four more turns I need to survive. But he's not he's not gonna kill Infernape in one turn, so you need two turns to kill Infernape. And he's not gonna kill Torkoal in one turn. So it's gonna be enough time for Charizard. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't hex me here, please. Thank thank the Lord, bro. <laughs> yeah, and just having that damage on him here is already extremely helpful. He cannot click recover, and like I said, Torkoal is faster than him. Pretty sure Torkoal kills him because that has to be max defense. That has to be max defense. So we're going to you now, and I should be faster under Trick Room. So Lava Blooming here, it's, so, it's still sun boosted. And we still have a Trick Room turn, which is hilarious, because now I get to attack Conkeldor first as well. And Charizard is still full HP, so I just have to get damage off with Lava Bloom. 43, that's really nice. And he bulks up. 
I don't think the build up is gonna matter much um, in the sense. I'll twist it back to normal. Oh, I wish I actually wish he killed me there, because <laughs> then he would have take he would have gotten less HP back. Um, I mean, then I would have had Sun up. Because now I might to land all over heat if the sun ends. Because he used Trick Room on a turn, I got up sun. Yeah, I might need to hit overheat. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. Um, I really wish he killed me with that Drain Punch, man. Ball. How much is Butterball doing? Weather ball twenty. Let's assume his max HP twenty five. He t how much did he take from Lava Bloom thirty seven? Do I have time still? I do have still time. Lava Bloom twenty thirty seven. But well, that's definitely max HP. That might even be spade. That might even be a bit of spade because. Okay, so. I have to hit overheat there. Oh man. Please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's insane, bro. I don't know what he was doing with his with his Gallade. Like if he attacked my Inferno, I think. I think I would have been a such such a huge mess. But luckily, luckily, we got through there. Damn bro. <laughs> we're 30 minutes in. I think we're gonna end it up at that one. So some spicy battles. The first one, really strange. Second one, Venusaur putting in the work. The last one, I don't know what was happening. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's gonna be the last time with this team. So thank you everyone for watching. Check out the team on Patreon if you are interested in the sets, in the details, in the EVs, IVs, whatever. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well to see more daily Pokemon MMO PvP content. And also check out my Discord server, guys. And yeah, like this video, hit that notification bell, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.